the program is built on the biologic um, time frame, if you will, also. Um, so the first uh, portion of the program will be built on what are those factors that go into the development of CLL. Um, how does CLL come about? How does a normal B lymphocyte become a CLL cell? Uh, what are the genetic abnormalities that lead to that? And also, what are the, potentially the inherited genetic factors uh, that might be family-related that lead to the development of CLL? Um, and those uh, studies are both uh, ongoing studies of large populations of patients to look at genetic inheritance factors, um, as well as uh, uh, genetic studies of isolated CLL clones looking at uh, mutations that have occurred uh, either before or after transformation. Uh, the second part of the, of the program, which is more or less the second day of the program, uh, has to do with dealing with the patient who has just been diagnosed with CLL and or is at the point in their disease in which they have to experience initial therapy. So how do you look at a patient nowadays that uh, has uh, been not diagnosed with CLL? Um, well, what do you do as your diagnostic workup, your prognostic and predictive workup? Um, and then once the person declares themselves as needing treatment, um, how do you approach that patient? Uh, what of the various new modalities available to you use to start as initial therapy. Um, the third day is, uh, developed, uh, is uh, devoted to understanding and uh, uh, developing ther therapies for patients who have failed initial therapy, the relapsed patient or the patient who was refractory to initial therapy. Um, and uh, what are those uh, treatments that are most effective at that point in time? Um, several of those differ from uh, patients that are treated uh, up front, uh, and uh, uh, also we're interested in um, um, having sessions that will deal with understanding why this transition occurs from a disease that um, might be initially responsive to single agent uh, X uh, that subsequently is not and then requires more aggressive therapy. So now what are the new genetic changes, for example, that have occurred? Uh, have occurred um, in the cells of that particular patient.